I remember everything leading up to it. I was hungry for the football. I felt a extreme sense of anxiety. I was scared. October 29th, 2017. Zach Miller was here. The Bears were playing the Saints in New Orleans. Third quarter, Chicago was down and driving. Ball went in the air and I just repeatedly said, go get it, go get it, go get it. We knew something was wrong as soon as he sat up with the ball and wasn't moving. Um, we knew we had to rush out there and see what was going on. He did dislocate his knee. I could feel it slip in and out of the joint, and I could feel it drop. It was just a very uh, sharp, immense amount of pain. It was when we got him to the locker room where it started to become more of a medical emergency. His lower extremity was filling with blood. He was losing some pulse in his foot. I started to lose feeling in my foot, and then that started to you know, make its way upward. When my leg started to turn blue, no pulse. Biggest fear is the amputation of the leg. I felt sheer panic. In the ambulance, the initial plan was for us to go to a different hospital. And the conversation that went on was, you know, we're contracted to go here and this is where we're gonna go. It was probably 15 minutes further away than the University Medical Center, which was basically three minutes away. He basically said, no chance. We're going to go to this level one trauma. Sid insisted the ambulance drive to a level one trauma center, designated as the most equipped to handle severe trauma. In surgery, doctors discovered that in addition to the dislocated knee, Zach had torn the popliteal artery in his left leg, cutting off the main blood supply below the knee. If blood supply isn't restored within hours, the injury almost always results in amputation. In the operating room, I wasn't sure what I was going to be like when I woke up. After seven hours of surgery, Zach woke up in intensive care. His wife, Kristen, had arrived in New Orleans and was by his side. I walk into the room and he is laying in bed um, and his leg is exposed and I see two rods sticking out of his leg. They removed part of the vein on the opposite thigh, like upper thigh, to connect the artery. So now the artery is repaired. The next part was the injury to his knee. His knee was very unstable. Those first 72 hours were absolutely exhausting. I remember like texting my family and I was just telling them like, oh, this is just hard. And I was like, I'm so, and I was just like, um, telling him how I was just like you know he just got out he's there's another good surgery and I was like I'm just like exhausted first three days were the toughest just to accept the situation every single time a nurse came in it was like am I gonna lose my leg they said, if you can make it to 72 hours, you have a really good chance of keeping it. On November 6th, he was medevac to North Shore Hospital in Chicago. Then, four more surgeries. He was in the hospital for nearly a month before being sent home on a stretcher. That was a huge victory. Not only were we leaving the hospital, and finally at home with our family, um, the scars were closed. On December 8th, 
the rods supporting his leg were removed. In all, he would have nine surgeries. You go as far as you want to go. Okay, keep in mind, we gotta come back. You just look for all of those signs because then if you see those signs, then at the end you see the big picture. December 17th, 50 days after the injury, Zach walked for the first time on his own. Oh, baby. How'd that feel, Zach? Like a million bucks. Then, seven days later, he returned to Soldier Field for the last home game of the season. In June, the Bears signed Zach to a guaranteed league minimum contract for the 2018 season, despite his injury. Time is, I'd say, the toughest part to deal with because my situation requires a lot of it. But I love to play football, absolutely. The one positive thing is that I haven't been told no. And that's something that continues to drive me. There very well may be a point where I am told no. But when that point comes, I know I gave everything I had to get there. I wake up every day feeling very fortunate.